Hi, hello everyone. Uh, welcome again in this short training video. So in today's video, I am going to share how we can conduct a sprint retrospective using Azure DevOps. So we will just understand like how we can capture our retrospective details in Azure DevOps tool. So I'm sharing the same project, Scrum Project 2023, which I have set up in the Azure DevOps lab. And uh, we can always click on the left navigation, the overview, and we can get details about this project, like how it has been configured, uh, how many work items have been defined in the board, etc. So in order to do the retrospective, so when on the last day when the team meets for the retrospective, uh, as a Scrum Master, as a team, all we have to do is we have to bring the mouse to the boards and we have to click on the retrospective. So remember like this is a plugin which we have to install. I already have a video where I have shown like how we can install the retrospective plugin from gallery uh, in Azure DevOps. So if I click on the retrospective, it will show me the retrospective UI. So let us wait, it's loading. So now you guys can see that, you know, uh, we haven't used the retrospective. It is asking us, you know, let's start with your first retrospective. So what we have to do is if I click on the create board. So here we can see uh, there are some templates that we can use and uh, the very common format is what went well, what didn't go well. Uh, if we want to capture the retrospective, we can do that. Otherwise, there are such certain other templates that we can utilize like a start, stop, continue. Uh, there are other like, you know, uh, keep, add, less, more. So we can apply these templates. But for the simplicity, I am going to keep uh, what went well, what didn't go well. And we can add a column which we can say this is our action items. So if I click on save, and I can give it uh, the title Sprint Retrospective. I mean, if it is, let's say, just for the understanding, it is a sprint one retrospective and uh, we can just click on save. So it has added it. Okay, so we can see the title that we give it like a sprint one retrospective. And uh, if I expand it, we got three columns, what went well, so what didn't go well and the action items. So, I mean, when we are doing the retrospective with the team, uh we have to capture like you know each of the member they can you know mention the cards like you know what is it you know that went well in our last sprint what is it you know which didn't go well what are the items for the improvement and how we can improve those so let's say if i am one of the member what we i have to do is i can add a feedback like what went well i can say yes team collaboration and team commitment so I can simply click on enter. So likewise, I mean, what, what we have to do is, you know, we have to give time to the our team, let's say, you know, five minutes or 10 minutes, like add all your details, like whatever you want to capture. And then, you know, the team can gather in another five or 10 minutes and then they can see that, you know, what responses, you know, as a team we have collected. Similarly, if, you know, I am one of the member, what didn't go well, I can say that, yeah, uh, requirement changes were often let's say this is one of the thing that uh, as a team we have to improve there were too many requirement changes right and uh, similarly if uh, you know team decides that you know what they can do regarding this particular improvement so what they can say is like uh, backlog refinement meeting with team understand requirements okay so this is how uh, you know the different 
cards can be placed by each of the sprint team members like you know they can place their cards on what went well what didn't go well and then you know on the items which needs improvement they can say okay uh, you know what are the action items that the team can take so this is just a sample and uh, this also allows the team to vote let's say team has collected some 10 areas of improvement or 10 action items like you know out of those 10 what are the ones which are really important so they can uh, as a scrum master we can ask our team to vote and uh, based on the high voted uh, items they we can we can take an action and uh, if we if we see the uh, this particular column act so from here we can also add a particular action let's say there is a backlog refinement meeting with team to understand requirements and if you want to capture this action in our backlog we can add add it from here we can create a task we can create a corresponding story if there are any action items that needs to be taken care so if i just see it here right so this is how uh, you know we can utilize it's quite simple and um, i mean the idea is we can use this particular template for let's say a couple of sprints two three sprint and then let's try to change the format and which we can always apply from create a new retrospective choose a different template like instead of like what went well what didn't go well and what are the action items we can also say you know what what are what is it in that we want to start what is it that we want to stop and the continue so that gives the team an idea about you know how they can apply a different uh, you know uh, a template in the retrospective meeting so that's pretty much about today's brief video i hope you guys liked it thank you